All right, I got a little story for my automotive friends. I just bought this red 98, or no, 99 Beetle for my 16-year-old daughter. And it's a little beat up, but relatively cheap. And it's so perfect for a 16-year-old that it wasn't worth hunting around more. We'll just deal with this. And I bought it knowing it would need it, knowing it would need some stuff. Well, genius Mike, just to show how little girls affect their dads. Genius Mike, who is an ASE certified auto tech, normally checks his cars out real thoroughly and gets a good deal. Well, when we looked at this car, my little daughter was smiling, made me happy. And I neglected the most obvious, number one, first thing that any decent mechanic checks. There was The mill lamp wasn't coming on on the dash when you turn the car on. And I didn't notice it. And I didn't specifically look for it. So, get home, bought the car. Figured out that the mill lamp wasn't on when you turn the key on. Pulled the instrument cluster out what do you know some idiot put a piece of electrical tape over the little LED on the dash so of course I take it off turn the car on and the lamps on so pull the code and been messing with this uh, throttle body uh, it's electronic throttle body figured I'm messing with the car figured I gotta get to the computer and check it out so I get to the ECM I got the whole inside of the dash all apart Open up the ECM, figured I'm not gonna find anything. I'm gonna fight this forever. Open up the ECM and look what I find. I don't know if we can see it here. I'm gonna zoom in. I don't know if it's gonna focus here. There we go. Focused. Totally burnt trace on the ECM. Now I hope this fixes the problem. We'll find out here shortly. So here's my follow-up. The original problem that I was having was the computer had a check engine light and a code, I can't remember the code number, but it related to the throttle body and I took the cover off the throttle body after having it on and off there a bunch of times trying to mess with it and found that I could never see that motor trying to do anything at all in that throttle body. And looking online I determined that when you turn the key on, it should go through a basic check every time, even though a former calibration can be done with the right equipment, which I don't have. So I checked the electrical connections in the motor, and I checked the motor itself, put some voltage to it, and could get the motor to move, and determined that that thing's probably okay. And then I went over to the computer, which I had to dig out of the dash, as I showed you on the previous part and found that bad trace. So that bad trace, I soldered it. I soldered the bad trace, put the computer back in the car, and when I turned it on, it immediately popped the ECM fuse. And so I get back into it and I start looking at where those traces go and I found that they go over to a couple of diodes. One is right there on the board. Camera won't focus. Let's see if I can get my and my smartphone does such a much better job videotaping than that. Almost full size stupid camera. So anyways, on that board, related to that burnt trace, were two little surface mount, tiny little surface mount type diodes that you find in modern computer circuitry. And they look similar to, I guess there's some to compare it to here. There's one right there to the right. There we go. 
And so I just said, what the heck? I know the computer's bad. Well, I checked those diodes, and they were shorted out. But I didn't know for sure how they were supposed to test, because I can't tell what kind of diodes they are. The numbers on them don't mean anything. They're just some generic number that's not a, not a part number. Probably just a manufacturer name or something like that. And I said, what do I got to lose? So I totally rigged some just some random 1N, I don't know what the heck they are, from a just rectifier diodes from some crappy little power supply that I had lying around from who knows what this was from, a TV or something. And I said to myself, this can't work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see smoke. And I put the thing back in the car, and I turned it on, and the thing fired up. And no codes. The uh, the idle the motor in that throttle body started to move and work. And it seems like I fixed it. By doing that, <laughs> and that, I wonder how long it'll last. Well, hope you got a good laugh. <laughs>